Hello, my dear students. Welcome to English 810 for the Vocational Education Studies. We're going on with Unit 7, Lesson 7, which is Writing About Unexpected Consequences. By the end of this lesson, we're going to achieve three main objectives. The first one is to list positive and negative consequences about a topic. Number two, we will identify the layout of unexpected consequences paragraph. And the last objective is we're going to write a paragraph about unexpected consequences. Now, what is unexpected consequences? I've repeated it three times during the objectives, but do you know what is meant by unexpected consequences? Let's see. It means not expected results. Consequences means results or let's say outcomes. When you do something, you are expecting some results, but there are unexpected results or let's say they're regarded as likely to happen. I'll clarify that more in some topics as examples. For example, shift to smart board only. Now, as you all know that we are using two boards in the classes, the whiteboard and the smart board. Let's assume that we're going to use only the smart boards. What is going to happen? Of course, there are positive consequences as well as negative consequences. Here's an example. Let's see. One of the positive results or consequences, there will be more interesting lessons. But at the same time, I have got one negative consequence, which is technical problems. Since I'm only using smart boards, then there has to be technical problems. Let me clarify that an extra example. Let's assume that you're going to use e-box instead of the regular box. What's going to happen? One of the positive consequences, there it will be easier to submit assignments. But negative point, there may be internet connection problems. For example, one of the students has poor internet connection, then it will be so hard for him to follow up with the students and the teacher. Now, can you think of other topics? What are the topics or the changes that could happen in any aspect of life that could cause unexpected consequences? whether they are positive or negative. Here are some examples. Let's see together. Pay through online channels at the shops instead of cash payments. Let's think about this. For example, you're going shopping and you should pay only through online channels. You shouldn't pay in cash. It definitely has positive and negative consequences. Another topic is allow students to bring their mobile phones to school. Now, if they did this, there has to be consequences, whether positive or negative. Last but not least, use punch system at work instead of signing for attendance. As you know, some jobs, they are depending on the signing for attendance or punching or both of them. Now we are assuming here that only punching will be allowed for attendance. There has to be positive and negative consequences. So these are suggested topics that we could write or speak about. Now, we will do this task. I will ask you to write down some positive and negative consequences or points for this topic, which is using punch system at work instead of signing for attendance. Now let's imagine that you're all staff and you work and the company that you work for told you that you're not going to sign anymore but you're going to punch. What are the positive consequences and what are the negative consequences? I'll give you a minute or two, think about it and we will discuss together.
So, here are some suggestions about the positive points. Let's see. There will be less paper usage, which means we are supporting the environment, which is positive point. Let's see the second one. Staff are more punctual and disciplined. Staff will come on time. They won't be late because the punching system will count every second, which is very good. Number three, it's accurate for counting the overtime. Some staff work extra hours and uh, if they punch, whenever they leave, the punch system will be so accurate to count the overtime or the extra hours that they have worked. Now let's move to the negative points. Number one, technical problems. You know that. We are going to use a system, which means there may be some technical problems. Number two, some said that it's not safe or it's not clean because everyone is going to use the same uh, punch system uh, using their fingers. So yes, it has to be sanitized all the time, which is not safe. Last but not least, some people said it may cause diseases. Uh, there is a survey which showed before that the punch system has to do with heart attacks. So uh, some people saying this is negative point about using only the punch system. Okay, now let me tell you about this. If you are going to list some positive and negative consequences about any topic, you will definitely need to provide examples. Why? Because you have to clarify what you are explaining or what you're writing to the audience. So, how do you introduce examples? This way. For example, for instance, such as, like, for one thing, another thing is that, the other problem is that. Here are some expressions used to introduce examples. Of course, there are extra uh, expressions and words to introduce examples, but these are the most commonly used. I'll put them in an example or two to clarify more. Let's see. One of the good things in using smart boards in the class is that the lessons will be more interesting. We want a supportive example. Pay attention to the highlighted in red. For instance, I am showing an example now. We will do fun exercises and matching and filling the gaps. Another example. One unexpected problem is that some technical problems may ruin the lesson. For example, now I'll support what I have previously mentioned with an example. The board may get stuck during explaining. You have to support your ideas, your points, the consequences that you're talking about with valid examples to bring it to real life. Now, let's move to the second objective, which is the layout. And before I present the layout, I would like to bring to your attention that all the English writings should have a layout. And they start with an introduction, then a body, and end with a conclusion, of course. But the content differs from a topic to another. Let's see. Here, I'll introduce my writing with general introduction about the effect of the topic that I have chosen. There are two bodies pay attention because the first body will list positive consequences, the good things. Body two will list the negative consequences. And of course, we're going to end at the conclusion with general opinion. What do you think? What is your point of view? Let's see now the writing together. We will start with part one, which is the introduction. Many workplaces these days are going through big changes. Our company decided that the staff should punch instead of sign at the record every morning. So we come to know here that the topic that I will speak about is using punch system instead of signing for attendance. So I have wrote about it generally. Let's move to the first body. 
Some thought it would be more accurate to punch in the system for noting down the staff attendance. But I didn't expect other good things that have happened because of this change. Pay attention. For one thing, I am supporting an example here. We hardly use any paper now because all of the staff punch their fingers in the system. Second example. Another good thing is that the majority of the staff became more disciplined and punctual. And this is another good thing, another positive consequence. Also, the punch system is so accurate in counting the overtime for the staff who work extra hours. So, I have provided three positive consequences with supportive examples and I have highlighted the uh, expressions or the words used to introduce examples in red as you can see. Let's move to the second paragraph which is body two and here we come to the negative consequences. The switch from signing to punching had some negative consequences too. Pay attention to the highlighted in red. One unexpected problem was, now I'm mentioning an example, the technical problems which we faced the first days. The other problem was, again, this is another way to introduce a different example, that some of the staff had an objection that punching fingers isn't safe and clean, which may cause some diseases. So here I have gave three unexpected negative consequences about the change, which is the punch system instead of signing. We move, of course, to the conclusion. And here where I uh, mention overall and state my opinion. Overall, though the new punching system is much better than the old signing system, and this is a point of view, Making this change was difficult at times, but I'm glad they did it. When I say I'm glad, it means that I am with the thing, I'm not against it. This is the end of the writing, but before I finish my lesson, I will ask you to write a paragraph about unexpected consequences. You can refer to the uh, topics that we have discussed previously, or you can have your own choice. Choose any topic, write the positive and the negative consequences, follow the layout. You may refer to your books, which is Project Success 3, English 810, page 99 for help. Don't forget, include examples. We have finished our lesson. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Goodbye.